The Unveiling. The desert sands whispered secrets, carried on the wind like mournful sighs. For millennia, the Valley of the Kings had guarded its treasures, tombs untouched by the ravages of time. But today, a new chapter was to be written. Dr. Evelyn Thorne, a renowned archaeologist, stood at the threshold of history, her heart pounding with a mix of anticipation and trepidation. She had dedicated years to locating the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra, the legendary queen of Egypt whose life was shrouded in both glory and scandal. With a creaking groan, the massive stone slab guarding the entrance yielded to their efforts. Inside, the chamber lay untouched, bathed in an eerie golden light filtering from cracks in the ceiling. Murals depicting scenes of opulent life adorned the walls, frozen in time like phantoms from a forgotten era. But amidst the splendor, a chilling atmosphere hung heavy. An unsettling aura emanated from the depths of the tomb, sending shivers down Evelyn's spine. It was as if a malevolent presence lingered, waiting to be awakened. The Serpent's Mark As the team delved deeper into the tomb, they stumbled upon a hidden chamber. Inside, nestled upon a golden pedestal, lay a sarcophagus of black obsidian. Intricate hieroglyphs adorned its surface, depicting a serpent coiled around a woman's body, its fangs poised to strike. An inscription, translated with difficulty by their Egyptologist, Dr. Hassan, sent a jolt of horror through them. It spoke of a curse, a malevolent spirit bound to Cleopatra's tomb, waiting to be unleashed upon anyone who dared to disturb her slumber. Evelyn, initially skeptical of such superstitions, couldn't help but feel a growing unease. Strange occurrences began to plague their work. Tools vanished overnight, shadows flickered in the darkness, and unsettling whispers echoed through the tunnels. The Awakening. Driven by her insatiable curiosity, Evelyn ignored the warnings. She focused on unlocking the secrets of the sarcophagus, unaware of the dark forces she was unleashing. With a resounding boom, the sarcophagus lid shattered. A gust of freezing wind erupted from within, extinguishing their torches and plunging them into darkness. The air crackled with an unseen energy, and a blood-curdling scream ripped through the tomb, shaking the very foundations of the earth. When their vision cleared, they beheld a horrifying sight. Cleopatra, her once-renowned beauty, now twisted into a grotesque mockery, stood before them. Her eyes, once filled with captivating allure, now burned with unholy fire. The serpent from the inscription had taken form, its body intertwined with hers, its venomous fangs dripping with a viscous darkness. The serpent's dance Cleopatra, possessed by the vengeful spirit, unleashed her fury upon the intruders. The tomb became a nightmarish labyrinth, filled with terrifying illusions and deadly traps. One by one, the team members fell victim to the Queen's wrath, their screams echoing through the catacombs. Evelyn, surrounded by the carnage, understood that she had to stop the rampaging Queen. With a heavy heart, she realized that the only way to break the curse was to fulfill the ancient prophecy, to return Cleopatra's soul to its rightful place. The sacrifice and the end. With tears in her eyes, Evelyn knelt before the possessed queen. Taking a deep breath, she recited the ancient incantation passed down through generations of Egyptian priests. As she spoke, the tomb trembled and the serpent began to writhe in agony, its grip on Cleopatra weakening. With a final ear-splitting shriek, the serpent was banished, leaving behind only a wisp of smoke and the lifeless body of Cleopatra. The curse was finally lifted, the tomb returned to its slumber. Evelyn emerged from the depths, forever changed by the horrors she witnessed. The tomb of Cleopatra held much more than just treasures. It held a chilling reminder of the consequences of greed and ambition, a testament to the power of ancient curses. As the desert sands once again covered the entrance to the tomb, 
the whispers on the wind carried a new message, a warning to all who trespass on the secrets of the past, lest they too become victims of the serpent's curse. Epilogue. Years later, Dr. Evelyn Thorne stood before a packed auditorium, recounting her harrowing ordeal. The story of Cleopatra's curse became a legend, a cautionary tale that echoed through the halls of universities and museums. But despite her public persona, a flicker of fear still haunted her eyes. For even in the safety of the modern world, she couldn't shake the feeling that she wasn't alone, that the serpent's gaze still followed her from the shadows, its curse a constant reminder of the day.